moccasin of man is the movement of his hands, okay? the Weston William Penn Hotel, Bellman. I said, look toward the Kaufman's Tunnel. He said, okay. And I said, is there anything there? And he goes, yeah, what is that? Hey, yeah, well, that's really cool. What is that thing? So finally, when he relaxed, I told him that it was a video installation and that it sh he should be seeing some fish or some kind of aquarium type underwater uh, environment. And he said, wow, you're right. That's so cool. You know, the whole frame outside on the street, basically invited people into the tunnel. And now you're in the tunnel and you're like right in front of the image. It was uh, really surprising. You know, I turned the corner, it was a smaller space, it was an intimate space. It was a cold night, the night that it was playing, and people were just standing there watching it. This tunnel was like a uh... Uh, some kind of a place between worlds, like I had left Pittsburgh and I was in some kind of uh, uh, strange aesthetic firmament. The three movements selected for the video project were flower form, also known as Cheng Yu Hua, ocean form or Tangnan, and self-defense with the weapons movements. With ocean form, you're trying to emulate big swell of waters, then rolls and crashes and explodes up onto the shore. Every single movement in that form is trying to pattern after a wave, rolling and crashing. And with the self-defense movements and weapons movements, using enough focus to be able to very quickly redirect something and then attack from any direction. With the flower form, you try to practice moving your body and you feel what power it takes for a seed to push itself out of the ground and then bloom into this delicate organic form. There was three more large screens that were split and had images of people doing what looked like martial arts juxtaposed right next to an underwater scene of jellyfish that have been illuminated that was really beautiful. And all of a sudden, I'm realizing that there was a correlation between this underwater motion, which I've often been transfixed by, and a human activity, a martial art, which is obviously thousands of years, thousands of years in the making and based on natural movements in the first place. We discuss a lot about fabricated movement, and when we saw this movie, we cannot say that it's fabricated movement, because when you saw the flower, it's exactly like the movement. And when you saw the ocean form, you can see the ocean and move exactly the same. So we're taking her out of um, the world she does that in, having her land on water, and it, showing it to people in an isolated fashion, that would open up things to them, in them, whether they were aware of it or not. Just wondering, how does a person know how to do this next, this next, and this next? And then I guess thinking about nature, nature doesn't have to know, it just does it. It's just an instinct and it just responds or reacts to what's around it or its own instinct. The real strength of this project is that it's showing the connection between the patterns that you find in nature and yourself. Um, looking at the way the body moves is one very clear connection. You can see the patterns everywhere. The more you look for it, the more you find. And in fact, the individual that is making this style available is the eighth generation grandmaster. So eight generations of people that have practiced and studied patterns in nature. Aspects. So when the artists were sharing with me they were going to be working with the Chengmu community, I thought to myself, well, how great that this is finally going to become demystified for me. So in terms of, of interfacing and collaborating with the Chengmu community, I think not only does that give the Chung Mu community an opportunity to share what they're about uh, through the direct experience of, of imaging, but it also gives them a chance to uh, learn about what the artist is doing. Public works that I've seen that have been powerful have been ones that have involved uh, communities in the process, and I think this piece does that really well. So for me, I'm going to say that the piece was about growth. 
each one of those forms that was shown, whether it was a hand, an amenity, those were life growths. You know, the magnificent of man is the movement of his hands, okay? So there's growth there in the sense of growth of um, development of a species, evolution. And if you want to step back and look at decay, you could say it's really just the closing phase of growth. And that was the whole concept of the hand opening and closing. And I'm going to say that the artist is about growth. And I'm going to say that the work that the artist does and portray as art is always a growth process. So basically what she did was she transformed that space and made it grow into what she called an urban aquarium. If one thinks of water, water tends to flow anywhere and go in any direction and will fill in the cracks. And in a sort of way, I can see that as being analogous to uh, the theremin. In the collaboration, one of the things that was discussed was the idea of going underwater in which things would be less defined. Things were harder to hear. Things were fuzzy and distant and then coming out of the water in which things become clear and things become defined and sharp. So there were several pieces in the soundtrack which actually specifically dealt with that contrast. It's like maybe 15 or 20 degrees and you see these warm images, illuminated images, and they're uh, sort of coated with this sonic effect of the uh, atonal music. It's sort of, uh, I want, don't want to say white noise, but it's, uh, similar to the rushing of waves, uh, yet very intentional. There were slow repeating computer generated works. There were some acoustical works. There were combinations of acoustical and electronic sounds. They all came together with the idea of watery motion and the martial arts, the smooth curved martial arts motion and impressionistic ideas on my part of what liquid motion would sound like. Sitting there in the tunnel watching it created a, um, you could almost slip into a meditative state uh, very easily. And I actually, I saw a lot of people standing there watching the project, just staring at it, taking it in. So in the sense of my sons who were there, they started moving as if they were the piece and some of them were mimicking the martial art moves, and some of the children, some of the same children, were mimicking the movements of the underwater creatures. The piece absorbed the observer. Starry night, it just kind of sucks you into it. And of course that's smaller, but the same concept. <laughs> 